here at Epcot this week. And Kristen decided that she wanted to be cool and look like Cinderella again. And that's <laughs> but it okay. matches my Epcot news. Yes. It's been Which is cool. Yeah, I, I believe you. <laughs> Alright, gonna check the wait times and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into today. We are in Morocco at the Passholder Lounge in the very back. Um, just some little things. Some Tex Mix, water, they had mint tea. I did not get any of that. Um, and then like some fruit trail mix, nuts and stuff. Nice little place to get away. Um, seating was a little weird. There's not a lot of seating back here, so. Got these cool little pens. So that's neat. Other than that, that's about it. Trying to find what we're gonna do next. That's oh, not. That's, <laughs> that's not. It's a theater show. <laughs> was our first time doing, well at least my first time doing the American Adventure. Kristen says that she thinks maybe she did it when she was a kid. It was good. It was like animatronics and screen combined, which was neat. What do you think? Made her sad. But overall it was great. <laughs> so we're heading over to Norway now because Kristen wants to go look at there's a perfume store that she wants to smell a very specific perfume. So let's travel together. Does it smell like what you wanted it to smell like? I didn't know what to expect, but it smells good. good. The guy's here. <laughs> he invented this. <laughs> Out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay! Come on, everybody! Here we go! Figments, you are not to interfere with the tour! Can't start appearing, and each of us, and that. With your eyes, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. Always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll! I believe is like the best part about Epcot and it's the whole entire aquarium. It's so cool. Kristen and I found this. We had never been here so we had seen it for the first time like when we maybe a year ago and it is still like one of my favorite spots. It's not talked about a lot so I'll give you guys a couple shots. <laughs> Oh, 
They're upside down. Oh, they are. Yes. Alright, check this out. It's kind of hard to see. This sea urchin right here, he's got a set of mouse ears on top of them, but they're upside down. Like, let's see if you can see it when I see it. Sea urchins put rocks on their head. Yeah, it's so bad. So Disney provides that's, mouse ears. That's an ear, and that's an ear, and that's the hat part. It's so put, yeah, like Kristen said, they put mouse ears in here, and they like to put them on top of their heads. It's kind of hard to see, but you get the idea. Okay, we found another sea urchin with mouse ears. This one's a little bit easier to see the mouse ears. You see the opening of the, the hat right here, but the sea urchin had put it on his hand. Yeah, so there he is right there. I also want to take this moment to shout out my good friend, Mr. Steven Streepy. He watches all the videos every single week, and he is our dungeon master for D and D on Thursday nights. And this is just my moment to give you a big old shout out, buddy. You're a good friend. is going to be the end of today's vlog, this week's vlog. We're just sitting here chilling with Walt, having a good time. If you guys have enjoyed this content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like this video, because uh, we've got videos like this coming out every single week, and we want you guys to be the first to know about it. Uh, thank you guys for stopping by, and we'll see you guys next time.